7 o'clock, just running along the waterfront. Um, sun is rising, not quite as vibrant as last time we were here. You can see a little bit in the clouds. But uh, yeah, streets are pretty quiet. I got pretty much the whole place to myself. And uh, last day in Patagonia. Hello! From Valparaiso. Oh, it's nice murals on the walls too. It's super cool here. Everything is painted by local artists. And I mean like everything, like every garage door, every brick wall, every fence post, every street sign is covered in art. Are you cuckoo for cocoa puffs? Well, I haven't had cocoa puffs in like seven years, and I'm gonna have five bowls of cocoa puffs. Yeah. <laughs> Hola! From our oasis! <laughs> we should have learned Spanish! <laughs> uh, we found a campground in the middle of a dirt road. We learned that Karen is really bad at maps. That's not new news. <laughs> But like really bad. <laughs> like we went down the wrong road at least two, no, two times for We've sure. We've made several U-turns, but we have arrived at this beautiful campground that's stupid cheap. So we're going to get drunk and pisco sour. On, on hot pisco sour. On pisco sour. <laughs> well, maybe we'll just drink. Well, no, because we can go out for food today. And ice. So we spent a million dollars on our resort last night, which is fine because we still have four sandwiches this morning. The lady that works here only speaks Spanish. And the guy that works here speaks Spanish and German. And English. -ish. And a little bit of English ish. As about as well as I speak Spanish. So we got communicated. We're here for two nights. We and paid. We paid. So uh, he gave us some recommendations on beaches. So we'll check those out and see how they are. And go from there. Gate duty. Whoop whoop. Welcome to Horkin. Yeah. Honored. <laughs> so new turn of events. We have Brandon with us and oh. we are hiking um, La Campana National Forest Park. And we've got five hours, so no four hours. Four hours. Because we are late. So we needed seven to get to the top. So we're gonna see how far we can get before four o'clock and then come back. That's right. And Brandon, we found yesterday. I'm from Canada too. At the beach. His dad stole us from our campground because <laughs> he decided it was too unsafe for us to be giving. He's being a typical father. That's right, and here we are. Okay, it's gonna be a hot one. This is the view, but I'm not gonna show you us because we are hot, dirty, and sweaty. It is our last day in Chile. Um, yesterday, no, we'll back up. We spent two days doing beachy things, and then yesterday we did wine tours. We went to Emiliana, and then House, and then Quinte. We had lunch at House, and it was the most delicious thing that I think I've ever had. We did wine tastings at all of three of the wineries. It is Saturday, March 4th. We fly out at 6 o'clock tonight, no, 9 o'clock tonight, we need to be at the airport for 6. And so we got up this morning, I went for a run um, in Tavina, and we had breakfast, then we headed to Tavina. We met a, an old man who gave us a little toy trinket, um, like wood, when you twist it, it turns into a heart. And he also helped us park the car, and he also told us to hide the backpack that was in the back seat of the car. So thank you, old man. It was lovely to meet you. Um, we walked up and down the beach, stopped for tea and ice cream, 
and then we drove back to the Casablanca Valley, which is where we were yesterday. Um, we are at Vina. I don't remember, but we are at a winery and it is beautiful. Um, we had just had a picnic at the lagoon. Which, no tastings today. Um, just checking out the winery. Then we head to the airport, um, return our car, and we'll have three hours to kill at the airport. We're gonna try and change one of our flights, so we'll see how that goes. And we're on our way home.